Welcome, we got us a knife. I've been meaning to get around to this for a while. Isn't this fun? Artisan. Dirk Pinkerton. It's a big, big, big knife. It's in D2 with G10, so it's grippy. You can grab it. It'll grab you. Oh, 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 hold on. So, yeah, it's got the pin. What do you mean the pin? It's got the pin. You put it in there, you screw it in, screw in the pin, and uh, you've made it a fixed blade now. It will not fail you, my friend. Okay, and then you can unscrew the pin, and then becomes a regular... Oh, by the way, it comes in a little like felt pouch. and This G10 model, at least, does. The, the uppity-up models here, they come in a... In a tin and then the tin in a box but this with the zipper pouch in the tin etc so this is the titanium version of this proponent proponent not the fulcrum it was named the fulcrum when it first came out but now it's the proponent because i guess crkt had made a fulcrum or something back in the day uh, there's your lockup, uh, 25-30%. Pretty strong, pretty heavy-looking uh, steel liners. Open design, no backspacer. Got your standoffs. All kinds of crazy going on there. Man, if they'd have just put a full-length backspacer on it, maybe they could have beat a pound. Got it over a pound. This thing, what is this way now? Hold on. 9.61. It's a nothing knife. Hold on. What is my titanium one weigh? 10.96. All right. Oh, and by the way, comes in a titanium mini. A mini. So this is the G10 proponent, but this is the, the titanium mini one. So what is this way? Hopefully it's under seven. And it is. Congratulations. If I can help lift you up a little. See, it's under six. God, six ounces for the little mini. And still pushing some stuff, isn't it? And a great color to boot. So yeah, they're all this uh, screwdriver type of hardware. So that's, that's interesting. But we're talking about the G10 one. I just thought we'd kind of do a little shootout between the G10 and the titanium ones. So we got 9.6, 10.9, and the little six ouncer, six ounces. Um, hey, buddy, what do you weigh? Oh, two. I forgot. Two ounces. Let's see. It's it's bigger than the mini, but it weighs one third. Uh, so that's always fun, isn't it? S these are S35, I believe. Uh, on these. But these are nice. Uh, the action on these is pretty cool. And this is just a little blazer here. So let's go for measurements, huh? Out the way, boys. Got to get many on here. We'll go from small to big. Three, um, three inches, seven overall. So it is actually a little smaller than the bug out. Uh, but, you know, so 75, 77 millimeters and 17 and a half centimeters there. Okay. So basically a three inch blade. Let's go to Papa Bear here. Mm, almost four inch, 100 millimeter, and uh, 22 and a half centimeters at not quite nine inches, eight and seven eighths. Now let's see if we got eight and seven eighths on this one, on our G10 dog here. And I would assume it would be about the same. Yeah, it is. It's about the same. Yeah, exactly, exactly the same uh, dimension. So under nine ounces, but just bare, I mean, under nine inches, 
under nine inches, but just barely. And that's a four inch blade, even though, you know, obviously from here, not from here. Big old ambidextrous thumb studs, a real honker of a pocket clip. And on these, take a look. Well, it's a big old honker of a pocket clip, but it's a titanium machined pocket clip on this and on the little guy. So, a lot of grippies here. And this is a lot less expensive. Those others are around $230, something like that. This one's $68. Uh, check on White Mountain. They come and they go out of stock. You can get it in the green or kind of that gray-blue color. And $68.55, I believe, is the total price. So around almost $7 on the LTK discount. So... About 61 bucks all in delivered and here's your stats did they even give us a weight on this um no no they didn't okay so is obviously this is a d2 blade by the way if i didn't say so before got a stone wash uh, finish on it and we can go right or left hand with the pocket clip. And they make the proponent, a lot of artisan knives are made so they're right or left hand carryable. So if you're a lefty, look at the artisan line. They have most of the knives they're making, not only in titanium, but G10 are left hand, right hand friendly. And this one is just a tiny little thing, disappears in your pocket. Don't even know why you need a pocket clip. And it's a, it's a pocket clip, all right. Whew. Man, that's a bumper off of uh, Willie's Jeep, I think, damn near. That is some stuff. And you got these standoffs. But the action on this is really good. It's amazing. It's uh, a little guillotine-ish, actually. But I like it because it's just like... just falls shut real easy and did they use pretty much all they could yes i think they did of the handle length so and can you middle finger flick it yes you can so you know you can use the flipper tab which by the way is jammed and pretty intuitive i mean i've got it in the meat of the palm of my hand let's give it a pull and there it goes and how's well How's the detent? Really light. Really light. I mean, this has got to be a 3.8 or something like that on my scale. Three and a half. Because it's just... But but the blade is so freaking heavy. I mean, it's going to come out. Um, can I fail it? Should be easy to. Yeah. It's easy to fail. How about this... Uh, fuller yes you can finger flick it with the fuller with the thumb stud you got this choil here for sharpening uh, depending on the size of your finger probably not a great idea to try and put your finger up there oh wow that's sharp okay yeah 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 okay um usually the artisan knives are pretty sharp and you know what Usually the artisan knives uh, clock really well on their D2 as far as at least high HRC numbers, high Rockwell numbers. Man, they're all really sharp, really damn sharp. Uh, I don't know that that means they're going to hold an edge forever because that's a combination of, of the complete heat treat process. Um, but, and also a product of, you know, what kind of vanadium content this might have as far as edge retention goes. But still, it's a user knife, user beater. I'm happy with it. I, I just think this is a blast because it didn't cost me a lot of money. And it's, uh, it's just a beast. It is. It's a beast. You know, it's at over nine ounces, 
it's something to carry, but it's not like carrying 12 or 15 ounce knife. So yeah, I can carry it. I can put it in my jeans pocket. It's, it's going to take up some real estate, especially when it's got this kind of height to it. And let me get this out. This might be interesting. So 54 millimeters at, yeah, over two inches. So like the paramilitary two from the highest part, top to bottom is 1.6 inches. So this is another half inch taller. So there's front to back real estate being taken up in your pocket. That much. Okay. And if you want to look at the small one, because obviously the other titanium one would be the same. Oh, this is not as bad. About 43 millimeters, which is 1.6. So this is about the same as like a paramilitary two front to back in your pocket. But yeah, thickness for sure. Uh, and uh, let's get on the thick end of things. 0.56, 14.4 millimeters, blade stock, 4 millimeters. So that's a 0.155, 0 0.156, something like that. Uh, who, yeah, 4.6 millimeters, 4.7, so that's a 0.18. So that's a different kind of animal on that one on these big dogs and they're 0.63 which is 16.2 millimeters let's do this i think this one's not as heavy 0.61 and the blade stock is yeah the same 0.18 so 4.6 millimeters yeah blade stock's the same on these this is about one, what, 1 1.3 ounces, 1.2 ounces less than the full-size titanium one. And then, of course, it's, this is only six. So this is really a lot more carryable, but uh, it's good looking. I like the design. I think they're brutal, yet uh, really enchanting uh, from that real mechanical overbuilt i guess look ergos well you've got height here okay you've got height here so the good thing about that is to me at, in my hands look at i'm not wrapping around 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 i'm not having to go you know like a small knife you kind of got a lot of extra that you, I mean, that's what I like about the paramilitary too. It's a little taller in here. And so it kind of adds to the comfort and the ergos overall. These, I think are ergonomically great. I really like them. And here you can put your thumb right up here and boy, that's some uh, grip there. So you're getting grip here on the G10, you're getting grip on here and you could hoss on this knife big time, especially if you want to put the pin through there and worry about it never uh, letting go on you. So that's that's not a problem. Detent on all these is pretty light. I'd say the detent's about the same on between uh, the G10 and the titanium knives. Let me see. Yeah. I could fail this one pretty easy. Yeah, and I can push it out like that. Little, I mean, it becomes by default a little bit stronger detent. See, I can still fail it. But it's smooth to deploy. It's it's not difficult, you know. But no, it, it's a fairly soft detent. It's still like, this is maybe a four, where the big ones are more like a three and a half, just because... Uh, of the heaviness, the weight of the blade just makes it, you know, snap. Of course, that's one way to deploy it, right? So if you really wanted to make sure you got it out quick, there you go. Uh, not a problem there.
Let's take it apart, see what it looks like. And what do we need? Well, I know we need probably a number eight on these uh, body screws. Yes. And they're, they're in there. I mean, I can feel that there's some kind of thread lock that was put on there. Not not badly, thank God. But it's it's there. You can feel that. Probably should have took them from the back side. Here we go. So I just happened to have this really little thin piece. And this came from a previous artisan knife. But uh, I guess this is the screw head area. And so... I can unscrew this. You take a real thin screwdriver to do this, I guess, as well. Yeah. They got some thread lock around this dog. I know it's big and heavy, but I think they got a little bit too happy with the thread locker. A little happy with that. Because, I mean, I almost got it all the way unscrewed and I still can't do it with my fingers. All the way. Whew. Finally, how long a screw we got going through here? You ever seen a pivot screw like that? Wow, we. I'm impressed. I'm totally impressed. I'll tell you what. That was there all day long, wasn't it? Finally. Wowie, wowie. That was some hard-ass shit there, too. Okay, we finally got them out, but they, they definitely put the thread locker on them. And success is ours, but wow. Whew. Damn, boys. So, yeah, on this on this front one, real slender uh, screwdriver. Because really, that's all this is, just a slender piece of metal. Okay. Can we take this off? Okay. Wowie, wowie. Well, wasn't really any purpose in me taking this apart other than to show it to you, but and there goes the blade stop off of there. And there's the ceramic bearings and the back side of this little puppy, which is an all-in-one piece. So, yes, I couldn't turn this, but there was a reason this is not the side to disengage. And here's the ceramic bearings on both sides. And, you know... Otherwise, it's pretty doggone clean in there. And now it is clean, clean in here. Well, you're not going to turn this pivot because it's D-shaped and it goes right through here. So a D-shape in the liner. So you cannot turn this. So do not drive yourself crazy doing that. Get that front side piece out. We all learn, don't we? I learned because I put some hoss on that trying to think, well, I'll just take it from the back side. And no, that's not happening. And you can see the ceramic detent ball, of course. You know, this is steel liner, so you don't need an insert. Here you go. And uh, I reckon we better put the stop back in here, which is... Wow, that's, that's a big old heavy sucker, isn't it? And then our other bearing. 
little go-go juice, our liner, hold it together at the same time. Snap that back in there, just like that. Put the outer scale on here and get the incredibly long, and I don't know why, um, but the incredibly long pivot screw on here. And before we get too carried away, let's get this hoss back in here with screwdriver. A normal screwdriver. Oh, that's that's good. And then these little wankers. And I am not going to hoss them down or put any thread locker on them. I don't want them that way. Okay, that's enough. Tight is tight enough. And how is that? It looks centered up. Any play? Nope. Good. We get it all back and in shape. The proponent in G10, it's big, it's heavy. And to some people that's ridiculous. Uh, but other people say it's always fun to have a hoss around. And this one's pretty inexpensive as well as you can always think about the mini and then again grandpa in uh, titanium as well so we got all these here i'm gonna let you go thank you so much for hanging out the proponent from artisan cutlery because we do we love them knives so you guys stay sharp